So lately I have been thinking a lot about relationships and not, you know, any type of relationship in particular, but how relationships need to be formed and how they need to be constructed so that both the people in that relationship can, you know, get the most out of it. And this can apply just to family relationships, to friendships, to romantic ones. So I'm getting like a better understanding of it because I think most of us can admit that we don't do relationships right, that we kind of suck in that area because we tend to put ourselves before relation, meaning that we put our own wants and desires and don't really think about how the other person feel in it, or we just don't have the right understanding and we end up attaching ourselves to the wrong people. And I want to just have like this little couch conversation, like a little friendship kind of little talk because I know that not everybody has the best relationships when it comes to family. And I specifically want to talk about this because I was writing on one of my blogs about how family can become the bully and how you can be raised in a family where, you know, talking about other people in the family or gossip or tearing down people or just making fun is like it's normalized. And I think also in the black community specifically, because it's like sometimes our construct of a family is just distorted. And we think that a family just has to be just a group of people that have to keep all the secrets, that we have to carry the burdens from past generations, and that, you know, that we have to do everything that's going to be of the good of the family. Nothing that you want to do for yourself, but it has to be good for the family in general. And having that mindset, it just tears up a lot of things and tears up a lot of relationships. And sometimes, you know, we wonder why certain people don't want to come to the holidays, you know, with the families getting together, or why that certain people don't communicate with other people in the family. And I know we like to say that, you know, people are being stuck up and that they don't want to be around nobody, but you have to really look deep into that. Sometimes people get fed up. They get fed up with the same type of behavior, same type of things that go on, and they just want a change, want something different. They want the real love that's supposed to be in the family and not all dysfunction. And I know somebody may say, you know, they're just how families are. But saying that just how families are don't really solve the problem because even now we're still not getting no closer to where we need to be. You still have families being broken up like almost every day over a small conflict, over a conversation that's supposed to be had, or even over how they run things and not even correcting how they do things so the next generation can actually be more of a family than the previous generation was. And I'm not saying that people cannot heal from relationships um, where they can't, well, I'm not saying that people cannot get back, you know, close in family relationships. I'm not saying that people cannot heal from things or get over things, or, you know, overcome certain things that happen in the family. But all that has to be on the person to do. People have to be willing to want to be a family and want to be the family the right way. Now, I have no crazy definition that we want to put on families. So leave me just to say this, that even though sometimes, you know, you may feel like you're just isolated from your family or you feel like that you just don't fit in, that even if your family is not on the right terms at this moment, they're not on good terms, I want to say that. They're not really in the best place with you or you're not in the best place with your family, that you do still need to have like a community outside of that. And it's okay, you know, to seek out community outside of your family. And I think because, well, this is me just, just my own little thinking because of some things I've seen that we think that our family just has to be everything. That I will, I specifically say our blood family. We think our blood family has to be everything. They have to be the ones to support you and do this. They have to do that. They have to um, help you with this and all that. And not understanding that, with those type of things, you have to have a, a good relationship. It depends on relationship because I think we think it's all Mac when it comes to the blood family, that they have to go here and do this for you. And you may not have to do anything for them, but they have to do it. So it's, you know, it's a crazy, I say it's like a crazy mindset that we have about families. And it just needs to be corrected because I hate that sometimes we want to have love, want to feel support in families, but we don't want to do the work to get there. So when I'm thinking more about family and I'm thinking more about this construct, it's that I have to redefine what family is. Because yes, I had my own experiences 
uh, with family members that I wish that it just didn't happen, you know, certain behaviors that I just no longer want to tolerate because I don't think a family should be a battlefield. A family should not be a place where you get talked down to or you feel like you're just a nobody when you're around them. It shouldn't be that way. A family should be a loving community. It should be supportive. And in redefining what family is to me, that family is made up of individuals that are ordained to do life with you. And sometimes that may not mean your blood family, but just people outside of that, people in your community. And sometimes maybe people on your job, people give me a church. And it's good to get around people that are love and that are supportive. It's going to help you get through life instead of just being this isolated boss. Now, yes, I understand. I love to spend time with myself. I love being by myself and going different places because I like my company. And it does help me to, you know, even grow my own self-esteem and confidence, knowing that I can be on my own two feet and still can be successful in things. But I do also understand that I do need a community and I need the right people around me. And that's something I have been praying about because I'm at the point in my life where I just don't want the foolishness. I just don't want to deal with the drama and the trauma and the gossip and all that because it doesn't help the relationship at all it doesn't help me get close to the people and i wish most of us all of us really need to understand that that gossip really don't build relationships it don't do nothing for you and doesn't do anything and you're thinking that y'all got this close bond because you don't like this person or you um talking about this person you mad at that person it doesn't because i said that what are y'all connecting on you know and I don't care because it's part of culture that this is what we do. Because just because it's on the part of our culture, it doesn't mean it's right. So we have to really look at how we do relationships and how we do things. And just realize that, hey, we all do need good relationships, but we also need a good foundation. And that's the last thing I want to say. You need a good foundation. Things don't need to be built on top of drama because you're not going to get the fruit that you seek from that. It needs to be built out something good, something positive, something that's going to bring y'all closer and going to actually stick y'all together. That's why I say that it is okay to seek community outside your blood family. It's okay to seek people that are like-minded and they will be supportive in your journey. And as you continue to mingle with those people and act, then you probably can pick up some strategies on how to fix the broken things in your own family, how to repair certain relationships, how to reconcile, even how to go forward and love them the right way because I think sometimes we try to perform and I know I can say I'm guilty of that you know trying to perform trying to get somebody to like you trying to get somebody to you know at least trying to claim you as a family member or treat you as your family but I know that that don't really get you anywhere that's not really good to perform and sometimes also that we don't really know what the other person are thinking in a way, I think when we think we're not as close to people, we think it's a problem, but it may not be an issue. It may be because life does change. It may be because of work, because of children. But relationships still, communication is a thing. We still have to communicate. Relationships, you still have to build, continue, invest in them. So this is just a talk I want to have for anybody that's dealing with that um, at this moment in their lives. Like, you don't really have to be alone. You can find people be around you. Um, this channel, try to make this community. So you come over here and just chit chat, drop your comment. So you don't have to be alone. Find some good people. Don't just think that because you have issues with your family that you can't find nobody else to be around. You can go out there, find some good people and just be in fellowship with them. Don't put yourself in the box. Don't put yourself in the corner. Get out there, break out your box. You can make it in this life. You can have good relationships. It's possible to do that. You just have to be willing to put in the work.